Oh my God. It's, it feels like it's been a long time to me. And I know Anya's right now, she's cooking in her car. So I know it feels like it's been forever for her. Oh, did the you inferno, it is. Oh, inferno is actually, no, I wish, I, I wish I could play music still, but Anya's Vivarelli, we are here together with Dan Radio Style. That would be, yep. You. That would be my, how are you life? What's going on? You good? Yes. You? Yeah. All good. I'm uh, just checked out of an Airbnb. So I'm in the park. I had to get out by 10 o'clock a.m., so I'm here. Is, is that slang, or are you literally just not, like, no, I checked out, and I drove to the park, and that's where I'm hanging out? Or does that in the park mean something? Yeah, no, like I'm, I'm in literally the in the park. Park. Parking lot? <laughs> the park. Oh, that's awesome. And the parking it's lot. A beautiful place. And, yeah. and that's how we meditate. So we had a slightly different topic today that I guess uh, I guess you, you would you would ask me about and I thought it would be kind of fun and I we do have a lot of females apparently in our audience and Valentine's Day is coming up and Anya you I don't know you what were your thoughts you had some questions I don't want to put I words did. in your mouth because what seems to circle around at this time of the year every year is women and Valentine's Day and I wanted to get men in this case your opinion about i'm going to ask you one question at a time firstly do you ouch no i wasn't any... me last night it wasn't me no i swear i was two o'clock two o'clock i was with <laughs> sammy i was over the... <laughs> no i do want to say too i'm going to preface really quick for you just, yeah. just for you um, she, Anya's is going to be doing a series, which I think is actually really cool. There's like a number of us dudes, and I think I get to be the first one. Maybe you not. Are. Whatever. I, I want to be the first. You're dude number one. I'm going to do anyway, seven, seven dudes. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just All right. received it. I just right. received you go, it. Girl. Mm. <laughs> Great benefits. Yes, oh, yes, tell yes. me that. Anyway, so. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, do you care about Valentine's Day as a man? Do you expect to receive anything? Do you feel pressure about it when you're in a relationship? Just spill the beans. Wow. That, so you said, let me ask you a question. And there was like eight <laughs> questions in there. Um, so how do I feel about Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, honestly, truly, and I think a lot of guys feel this way. And I'm a very sensitive dude, by the way. I'm really into romance. I think stuff like that's awesome. Uh, Valentine's to me is an obvious commercial holiday. It's meant to just get people to go spend a bunch of money on stuff. And, and you know, I get that it's, it, it's from a guy's, it's it, a lot of times it's a lot of stuff that I got to do. I got to worry about. I got to try to come up with something romantic. It's yeah. a lot of stress and anxiety. Right? It stressed me out <laughs> in my normal life. Yeah. And here I am worrying about, uh, is this going to be romantic? Is she going to get mad if I buy chocolates? Well, I'm trying all that. Anyway, give me that box and walk away. And you're like, what? I mean, huh? What do I do? Like, so it's, it's, um, yeah. it's a holiday that you feel like if you, if you swing and you miss, it's kind of like, like, I don't get too many of those before I kind of jack this or, I, I don't know. I think anxiety. I don't know. I'd be curious what the other seven guys will be watching this series. I'm trying to learn from my other fellow friends yeah. out there. Gentlemen, welcome to the gauntlet. Yeah. Do you, as a man, do you, do you expect something back? And if you do, what sort of things would you like? <laughs> huh. Um, it's uh, in my opinion, it's really great when when like cool little small things happen. I mean, you guys are simp for the most part, right? I mean, I really do think we're simple for the most part. Like yeah. it, food, yum yum, in some sort of physical happy f man gets touch woman kind of way, or uh, <laughs> even uh, I mean, sleeping like a special little golf like. I mean, we're simple. We're really yeah. simple. And anything that goes even a small, tiny step in one of those directions, believe it or not, like it doesn't need to be grandiose. I, I think ladies like a little more of a story maybe and a little more of a, a depth to it. Yeah. And, well, yes, but why does he speak the British accent, Dan? And I'm like, well, I, I, I don't know why. He's, uh, he was grown in, in, in that land. I, you know, I, it's like, it's one of those things where sometimes 
I, it puts a lot of, I, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. It derailed somewhere. I think people died in that crash. <laughs> no, but it's a good, it's good hearing you say that about men being simple. Cause I agree. I think there is such a simplicity and there's so much pressure on men from women and about you need to give me something so that I feel loved. And I, I think the giving when it's not pressured and it is that a woman can just receive what's given, whether it's a kiss on the cheek or, um, you know, something that's not on Valentine's day, you know, on another day, I, I just, I do think women put a lot of pressure on men for Valentine's day. That's what I want to say. And well, here's the thing. Yeah. Like, I think I, I, I try, like, at, at least in my relationship, like, I try really hard to just be, like, every day a good guy to yep. her and, like, and just appreciate her and let her know. I can. Like, like, so, the, like, on this special day, I've got to raise the bar somehow. It's like, yeah. Um, huh. Well, I spent a three hundred dollars last year what do i have hundred dollars just like it's like at some point it's kind of like what we do with uh with kids birthdays right yes. well, the 10th birthday we spent 12 billion dollars on I mean, that's the 12th birthday but it's a special one it's like huh yeah so I, I it's a weird phenomenon that's going on i i i unfortunately don't think it's a, a real feeling that men have or want i think it's really driven by the media and the you know commercialism you know i yep. sell stuff like i think guys for the most part it's just an extra extra obstacle in, okay. in the romance Ooh. department that yep. we try to you know figure it out and we did the best we can with it yep I feel like no I feel like you'd be shining a light on me he'd be like where were you last night and <laughs> No, it's good. Look, it's good to know because, you know, when you are in a relationship, there is, there is this thing, like you say, the media retail, this thing where it's just in your face on TV, commercials, billboards, rotating billboards. It's like, it's, it's just this way of, I don't know, just kind of helping people to feel inadequate. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> on some level yeah, basically it yeah. was like just after january 1st i'm in the in the stores and they're all already putting out, out the stupid heart-shaped boxes and i'm like yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Valentine's Day's coming. Yeah. and I, I, like, that's i mean that's honestly that's like a, a legit response yeah i think to a, a lot of guys like <laughs> not just super bowl sunday but valentine's yeah. day's coming up so yeah. again for guys in the united states anyway so that's, yeah maybe no. some, it's soccer, not- if there's a big soccer game, is there ever a big football game? Uh, world, ever? yep. During this time of year, yep. No, yeah. But you know what, Dan? I think it's in the Western countries, yeah. like so, U- uh, UK, yeah. US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and it'll be interesting to hear in the thread of this uh, interview which other countries it's really pushed at them you know, around the world, I'd be interested to know from people's comments, how much Valentine's pressure is on people in other countries around the world. And, you know, how do men feel about it? And how do the women feel about it? I, I personally, I'm going to say for me, as a female, I don't feel that I need anything on Valentine's Day. I think that if you get something hey that's nice but i find i get surprises on other days or i get something on my birthday i don't feel like i'm starved you know that's the thing that i think comes out at valentine's days i'm starved for romance and that's starvation or it's it's sometimes supposed to fix yeah or it's supposed to fix something maybe that's broken in the relationship yeah there's not enough romance so this is the one night a year that we've got to be romantic and the dude's yeah. just like i don't know how to do right like i don't know how to do that like i don't know how yeah to do that. it can be very very uh scary yeah. and i think yeah i think a lot of people as relationships uh mature and move through uh cycles in in their existence you know like rings in a tree almost right yeah 
we get a level of comfort with each other. It's, I do think there's a level of trying to bring back that honeymoon that exists in a lot of people. It's like maybe that print. I don't know where that initiates from per se, but it's, it is a, a story that I think causes a lot of trouble in relationships. Yep. Yep. I agree. The, the, the expectation and the pressure and, and I do think I will say this about my gender. The, the pressure does come from women. If you love me, you'll be romantic on this day. And the thing is some men don't know how they don't know how, like you yeah, just or like what that means or what that means. You might not know what. Yep. And it, that's, what's scary is it's like, if you're already in one of those relationships, I've been there where you're kind of walking on eggs as it is, right? Like I, I, I know it's very easy to set things off. There's a couple sensitive places like, uh, you know, we're all trying to get along and here's this added pressure for the specific yeah. day. Uh, yeah. One thing I want to say hmm. as a way to enhance, I think the experience for ladies out there easier, honestly, don't have to, don't make it have to be the 14th. Like tell them yeah. before that, like yeah. the weekend before the weekend after whatever, like, Let's do it a different day because it works with your work schedule or something yeah. like I don't want you to have to stay awake late, open early, you know, like let's do it flexible on when you can celebrate it. And I think ladies, I think you've got a way better chance at getting your magic night, at least, at least maybe your one night a week or maybe, you know, yeah. maybe you got a few of these that you got planned in your life. Good for you. So, yeah, yeah. Especially if it falls on a Tuesday. Day. Right, middle of the week or something yeah. like. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that idea, Dan. Just you say to the guy, "Let's, you know, let's celebrate it at some point." But yeah, let's make it fit with what we're doing. Let's do it within this ten-day period. That's a really. I would have never thought of that. That's a really good idea for people that are really, really, really put their eggs in the Valentine's basket where they really want to celebrate it. And yeah. Yeah. Give yeah. it a little flexibility. It doesn't have to, what'd your guy do on that day? Like, yes. Well, we're we're yes. doing our thing the other day. Yeah. Hey, we're actually doing something slightly, it's been not crazy out there, right? Like it's just smarter a lot of times to do it slightly out of cycle. Now, yeah. um, one thing for the guys that are out there uh, that watch this, this show, um, what, what are a couple of examples for Valentine's day for you ladies that do want something? What Anya's because you're you're my touch to the, the female side right now what yeah. what are some things that that are okay especially you know yeah what are what, talk to me like things that are, are romantic or what do ladies kind of want what what are you guys looking for give That's me an idea a help a bone yeah <laughs> a bone I think something I that's that. not, personally I think something that's not chocolate or flowers related like that's that I'm not a big fan of killing flowers uh, on, on Valentine's day. And I'm not a big fan of killing trees for Christmas, but that's just me. I'm, I like nature and I like to leave it in its habitat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah I it's think, happier on the ground I've found. Yeah, exactly. And it's for one day and you, you know, I just think, no, but I think something like, like I remember my partner did something for me once and I really liked it. I had mentioned when I got to London, Hey, I really want to have really nice English tea and scones. And I'd forgotten that I'd mentioned that. And one day he just took me, he said, right, get dressed. And I said, where are we going? He said, I'm not telling you. And he literally just took me to this random place in London where they made I was, I was tr running, trying to catch up with him because he was go walking really fast and he's, you know, much taller than me. Mm -hmm. And he right. took me to this fantastic place that made tea and scones. And I'd mentioned that months before, totally forgotten about it. That was remembering what I'd said, looking it up and taking me there when I'd totally forgotten about it. Things like that, that was a really good, wow, this is so cool. I'd forgotten about that. And then another thing was I'd said I really wanted to go to the Motown show because I love Motown music. And for my birthday, it was like surprise tickets to the Motown show. 
on a uh, just you know in the west end in london it was just amazing so things like that and that didn't cost a lot of money i think that's what i want to say too it doesn't need to cost a lot of money yeah. if you buy tickets on the day you get them at 50 percent off and we had we just had a fantastic time and it was like wow i mentioned that a year ago so i think it's those things that are I'm listening to you, I hear you, and I filed that away for later kind of moments. Now that's not easy to do because I find I'm not that good at that in the reverse. I forget things that get told to me. So I need to actually right. bump up those things within myself to be able to do that in my relationship. So I think it's, it's listening to each other's little quirks, those things that you think, hey, I'd love to do that. Um, you know, I've got a friend that I was speaking to yesterday and she said, oh, will you come with me? I want to go and check out paddle boards. And I started laughing. I said, you're, you're nearly 50. Why do you want to go paddle boarding? She said, I don't know. I've just always wanted to do that. So like for her, she's not in a relationship, but I remember thinking, hey, that would have been a good thing for if she was in a relationship someone to organize paddle boarding for her you know right so it's or go all, down with her and hey like let's go rent paddle boards let's and, go rent and paddle boards for, the, for an board. afternoon the, yeah hey, you, you'd mentioned the other day you yeah you like paddle boards so i yeah i uh rented us paddle boards yeah you. so yeah. i think it's listening I, I, it's funny for the guys work. that are out there yeah listening pay, paying attention and listening remembering something they've told you yeah. i've gotten more point with with ladies frankly, by noticing things, by paying attention, by just listening once in a while. Yeah. Uh, I think for guys, it's, it's really easy for us to tune out, you know, uh, especially if there's a lot of discussion. I don't know how the relationship yeah. may be. Uh, yeah. I've seen very, in my own life, sometimes they're very, very talkative sometimes, you know, yeah. so just, you never know. So if you're always having someone talk, you do tend to tune it out as, as just background yeah. <laughs> information. You do. Uh, and I'm, guil it, it, I'm guilty it, of that too, Dan. Yeah. I'm the one in the relationship that does that, that thing you're talking about where you tune out, you pick, I, I'm the, uh, I'm the less communicative one. And that's something that I have to work on because I probably cause I communicate all day with my job. It's like, I kind of, that's what that, I mean, <laughs> that's why I'm the same way. Yeah. I, I do this same thing. I mean, professionally, I, I, I am not as good at it because I don't want to have to do it. I just yeah. don't want to have to do the extra work. Like I, I already know. had to do it. All day yeah. Day. <laughs> so yeah, it's, um, it's a weird balance that we've got to do. In our per it's kind of like, you know, when you have a, a bad job for people that maybe have like a job at like a, like a coffee store or something like that. Right. But like get them to the trashes or maybe you got to clean the bathroom and then you like get home and you're like, I don't want to mop the floor here. Like I just did that. Like I just exactly. mopped the floor. I don't want to do that right now. Like, and you get into these places where you don't want to do it in the places you need to do it. Yeah. You have to do it someplace else. They pay you for it or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like, right. Yeah. Slightly off topic, but uh, yeah, I, I think one of the big, the big takeaways uh, I think is if there's a way to reduce the, commercialized value of yes. valentine's day and yes maybe just make it a day about like let's just have a special date night like you maybe you guys don't go out often enough maybe it's a special date where you do mm. something slightly different or you dress up or you know right like you know if you want to step it up a notch that's cool but let's let's yeah. open it up a little bit let's make it a special day for you two or the, you know and 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 not so much the it has to be that day all my friends are going out uh, we're going to be talking about it the next day. It's like, man, that's like a lot of competition, especially guys. Cause we know you ladies talk about us. And, and frankly, if you're not happy with us, we know you're not talking nice about us. Yeah. We're not happy about that. That's not something yeah. we were like, Hey, I, I love when my lady's upset with me. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I know she tells everyone I'm horrible. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. We love that. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, I think, I think we've just discovered and uncovered something during this session that it is doing it not necessarily on Valentine's day around that time is, is good enough. And then doing something that's very specific to that person that's got nothing to do with flowers and chocolates. I, ne I know a lot of women like the flowers and chocolate thing and that's fine. If that's your preference, no worries. But I do think there's other ways around the circle things that can surprise you and that are really exciting that you go, wow, that is such a cool present because it's something that you heard me talk about. So 
Yeah. You one thing that pops into my head, there was two and I lost one, but the flat, yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay, good. So flowers and chocolate, it's like, if they really, really, really matter that much, and it's maybe something that he's not already going to do because he never remembers, right? Then buy yourself some flowers and chocolate. Exactly. Like get over that little hump on your own. Let's do something slightly uh, off the norm <laughs> and make it a little easier for you to have a special night together. And let's, let's win. Let's get a win together. Right. <laughs> and that I think accomplishes what everybody's after. I like that. Get a little, get over that little hump on your own. I, I like that. That's very well worded. <laughs> I get lucky sometimes on you. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Oh, that's lovely. I love it. Ah, uh, that was it. I, I think we, I don't know. Is there, do you feel I, there's a, I think we've covered it. We have any other, I think we've covered it, Dan. I do. I think the good, short, and sweet <laughs> Valentine's yep. Day special that you short and I thing. have done. And, 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 yeah. I, and I think because um, the numbers, you know, are probably like, they're probably similar to mine. Like there's a larger number of females for sure. Yep. Uh, so ladies, I um, help, help make it easier for the guy. If he's, if he's really yeah. like help him kick it up a notch in some way, give him a hint. Maybe yes. truly like if you tr would like to see some. Thing, maybe hint at it a little honey be a little direct honey i'd really like it if we could go to that restaurant that it was really special and like oh my god that'd be great yeah yeah let's do that like it, okay. give you guys a chance sometimes guys aren't real good at naturally thinking mm. about what does she actually want now i agree guys get better get better at paying attention because that really is going to take you a long way so believe me there's a two-sided street here two sides uh, but yeah. uh ladies because there's more of you. I yeah. love that. It's, it's, sometimes love it's just easier if we take some of the impediments, yeah, out of the way. Like the, like I said, the chocolate and flowers, then buy yeah. your own. Like get that. Who cares? They're gonna eat them if you want them. But otherwise, <laughs> let's let's do something fun together. Let's go. I don't know, ride bikes or whatever, whatever you want to do. Whatever you mentioned six months ago that you should have listened to and didn't. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, you crack me up. You really crack me up. Well, I think we've discovered a few. Are you surviving? Things. Like, but Yeah, I'm surviving. What, what, what did we discover? What, well, what, that men what, feel the pressure. What did we discover? Men feel the pressure and we can help relieve that pressure and we can do things other than flowers and chocolates and we can use it to bring each other, bring ourselves closer to that other person rather than being one of those days that just rips relationships apart. Cause I know a lot of people go into trauma about, you know, the next, the boxing day after Valentine's day, people go into all sorts of stuff. Cause I know yeah. I get a lot of emails. Ridiculous. Then. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily, it doesn't have to be that way. Well, it And here's and the, from a manifesting standpoint, that's the other thing I wanted to bring up. From a manifesting standpoint, when we're trying to create our SP or whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, that day puts a little that day. But if you can hang out with them one day around that day and like that's your guys' Valentine's time together, yeah. then let that count. It puts so much pressure on one specific day. Really, yeah. it, it, I, I think, again, anytime we create a lot of pressure on something or really put a lot of importance on the thing it yep. separates us from everything it, it creates this weird on a pedestal kind of yeah. and so it's not good when we do that yeah so try and to I, keep it you know, up the yeah breaks, as they would say yeah and i think too it's coming from neediness i'm gonna have to mention that when you've got so much yeah pressure on this day you got to look at, am I really needy for this? Cause if I'm needy, we all know that neediness pushes the thing away that we want, you know? So mm -hmm. if you're going to be in need, you're probably not going to get a good photocopy. So try and come from, I love myself. I'm giving, you know, whatever I get, I'm grateful for. And I'm grateful to just be in a relationship with this person. Or if you're not in relationship with someone you can, you know, if you really want to put your energy into living in the end of what you would like to feel on Valentine's day, not necessarily what you would like to get, but how you would like to feel, which is loved and wanted. Or even imagine how you feel uh, the, the day or two 
yep. three after. Like you still feel like, yeah, that was so great that we did that. Like you can live even in the end past that moment. Like it's, there's always, uh, I think places just that we can focus our energies feeling better than worrying about this particular thing or that, that particular thing over there. It's like, no, just yeah. keep focus focusing on where you're going. Like I was saying to Anya, you know, when we spend a lot of time looking at our feet where we're at right now, then we're not, we're not going to get where we're trying to go. Right. If you get a look yeah. at where you're trying to go and, and you'll head in that direction. Yeah. It's, 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 it's all you're doing. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Focus based universe as, as you've said. Focus many, 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 based you know. universe. Yes. Well, Anya, thank you. So thanks Dan. Bam. Well, that's you our very, little, very welcome. I hope you have, uh, Marvelous Sunday in the future. I'm going to stay at a friend's house now for about two weeks and I'm going to Uluru in 10 days. Uluru is the Aboriginal word for Ez Rock, the big rock in the desert in the middle of Australia. So I'm going there for five days. Maybe we can do a show when I'm there, Dan. That would be way cool. I'd love to be a part of that. Cause I, like I've told you before, the Aborigines are a, a big kick into what got me into uh, Australia as a, as a, place i mean i, I fifth yeah. grade uh, with a teacher that yeah. had gone there before and he came back and showed us the big bow and arrows the big boomerangs the i mean all sorts of cool little play with them it was really awesome so anyway and then yeah. I, another mutant message down under was a book i read it was a fantastic book so a nice. yeah, big part of my my life and then i bumped into you know, i'm just like what is going on with all these i worked at a company that was actually kiwi owned but there was about three or four of the significant players that were australian and yeah it, yeah, it was always, always mm. been around. Love yeah. it. Always had someone saying mate or might. Yeah. There mate. You know, well, you know what? I have anyway. my, um, my law of attraction friend. When we do our three questions together on the phone, the first yeah. question is, what do you appreciate? And I've been saying to her for five years, at least I'm happy and grateful now that I have dinner at the open air restaurant at Uluru. I have a lamb roast with peas and mashed potato and I watch the sunset behind the rock. So I've been saying that to her for over five years in my appreciation, like whenever we talk about four times a week. So now I'm going to be able to tick that one off my list. <laughs> yeah. You've been working on this one a while. Yeah. I've got, five a, years. I got a couple bucket. Yeah. Bucket thing. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. But that's awesome. It was worth the wait. I'm sure. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Worth the wait. Worth the wait. Awesome. All right, Dan. Well, we'll sign off and say goodbye to everyone. And well, Anya, we'll thank you. Uh, every, I'm sure we'll be doing more videos. Yeah, yeah. We'll absolutely. We'll say bye in private. I, uh, I, yeah. Bye, everyone. Happy bye Valentine's we'll, Day. Thank you, everybody, up. and thank you, Anya. Bye. Yes. Make it a good day, and it doesn't Make have it to be day. that day. Exactly. Make it a Woo! good day. <laughs>